I'm the only one that clapped and I don't even have arms. Two, one. <laughs> that was like the best sync yeah. we ever had. We could literally Lights intro off. from that. I that want people good. to see that sync. I want people to see the best sync clap that happened this week. Yeah, as long, as, long as people clap. don't see the failed sync clap right before that. How do we know that you clapped, first off? You heard it! Tara, prove it! I heard Play it. Play back the clap! <laughs> Hello, guys and gals. Me, Mudahar. Nux doesn't feel like introducing, so I'm going to be the one introducing, and I feel like I want to say that for the camera because, frankly, I want it on the record. Today, we have an amazing internet historian figure as you may know wavy web surf you definitely know you check the title to the stream that's why you clicked on it ladies and gentlemen give it up for some of my favorite friends here me and wavy web surf in another episode of the some ordinary <laughs> podcast it was a one take thing and i oh fucking my god kept it going. i that can't get it going except it. for all the the cell phone noises yeah, was, in the I background was that was interesting yeah, <laughs> Yeah, somebody's somebody's chocolate flip phone is going flip phone is going off back there. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> brothers, if I could still use a Motorola Razor in 2021, all right, that lasted six days, I would. All right, but I'm st do it, man. They, they don't they make them re they release do, it, but like you also can't like browse Reddit on it on the toilet. So there, there's a bit there's true, problems true. there. Plus, I can't play battle royales on the toilet, so you know it's not. Which I do. All right, I'm not even memeing an ironic. How much time? Uh, it depends if he wins. Five minutes. <laughs> I mean, hey, listen, I don't survive long in these games either, so it don't matter to me. Whenever you want a game badly, just eat more Taco Bell. Yeah, when you I, have plenty when I, of shitter time. Dude, honestly, a Taco Bell just goes right through me. Like, it's over, man. Like, as soon as that shit touches the system, it's gone. Like, the hmm. body runs that through. <laughs> I mean, as a, as a big Taco Bell enjoyer, uh, I know the feeling. Shout out to T-Bell, uh, sponsored this podcast and me. Yeah, well, by the way fuck Keep taco breezy. bell you want to know why fuck taco bell every dude the <laughs> six taco bell locations in my area have not received new sauce packets like we're still running on mild like you know how many dude. times i pull over like at one in the morning because ain't nobody eating taco i'm not eating taco bell at normal hours so when i pull in and yeah, i'm like can i have like some burritos and they're like sure do you have any fire hot sauce they're like no nah, we only have mild i'm like Bitch, why the fuck you only got mild? Uh, our distributor hasn't given us sauces. I'm like, fucking Taco Bell. Any Taco Bell without sauce, you might as well just throw it out. Like, yeah. the biggest the biggest betrayal of all time is, like, ordering through, like, Grubhub or DoorDash or some shit. And you're like, God, I can't wait to fuck up this burrito. And there's no sauce after you ordered, like, ten packets of it. It's just, like, unedible. Or there's like a there's like sometimes you get a you get a burrito and then it's all sour cream. Oh my lord! It's just all sour cream and you bite it and it shoots out like a tube of toothpaste. Why? The only fucking time disgusting. Moon pies, Caleb. Stick to your moon pies. The only time I ever had a DoorDash do. order screw up was a Taco Bell one. So clearly somebody wanted Taco Bell at one thirty in the morning. They did not deliver. They marked it as delivered. And at that point, I was like, I knew I know the clientele. I know the delivery types that these people are hitting. I, I get it now. Yeah, yeah. I had these folks messing up my order so much back when I lived in an apartment complex that I knew like they would send it to wrong doors for some reason. Apparently my shit was messed up in the map. And I got to the point where I memorized like the front doorsteps of other people's fucking apartments and would know, <laughs> and would know where it was. It would be like, oh, this, this is over a C unit, so I would go on a quest to pick it up after they like misdelivered my meal. I'm surprised like I didn't get my ass whooped by somebody, but yeah, I lost my shit at a fucking DoorDash driver almost. And I didn't say anything to him, but like, like you know when you have to put your house number on that goddamn app. This person, like, every dude, three messages, like, oh, what number was it? I'm like, dog, you have it on the fuck, and then I have to stand out like a fucking like Dark Souls figure, like I'm just like. Like I'm standing out there like a boss, like waiting for the food to come, like right here. Like I have to, I have to like. You can see your health bar. I like, I like get my car fob and I'm like clicking the lock button, so you just see it like ding for like. You just see this red flash. Like I'm communicating in like flashlight noises to this one guy. I'm like, this realm right here is where you're delivering <laughs> thine food. Oh man, God bless our DoorDash drivers, essential workers. They you really know. are. I got a uh, DoorDash from, I don't know what it was. I don't remember. I do not remember. I think it was McDonald's. It was very late at night. It was an Indian guy. He came up. He's delivered food to me a lot of times. His son was with him this time, recognized me <gasps> immediately, said, I love the podcast. No. Tell Mudai really? said hi. Oh and my, like, no yeah, way. absolutely. <laughs> it, it, it happened like two months ago, right after the podcast started. And I was like, it what took the you fuck two just happened? To tell the story. That's insane. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't even tell it. I forgot about it. And you guys were talking about DoorDash. It's so late like, at night. DoorDash, Indian people, Mudahar. 
then it all worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's connecting the dots. I, I, had, uh, I had one person that like uh, that knew about Nux, and Nux, you introduced them to us. And that's that's like uh that 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 was uh that was that was my story. Not about the podcast. So they were they, just like they saw one video we made together, like oh, one of the Rule no. Thirty Four contests. They're like, you know that <laughs> Nux guy? And I'm like, yeah, dude, he's a pretty cool. Let's he's go. a pretty sick fuck. But you know, we hey, in keep... the best way. In the best <laughs> in the way. Best way. So, Wavy, True. what are you covering recently that you wanna? that you want to sort of tease and titillate the audiences with. Dude, I, it's like, I saw you cover CDI shit, man. And I'll be honest, that was an insta-click for me. Oh my god, yeah, there's a, the Zelda YouTube poops, you know, my boy. Yeah. I wonder what's for dinner. I have the costume. I did, like, I dressed up as the king for, like, this ad read I did, and it's probably one of, like, the most... Probably the peak of creativity on my channel, let's be honest. But uh, yeah, man, the, <laughs> the Zelda stuff. Uh, I did a video about this time where Reddit, like, uh, found this this youtuber who had been making videos since like 2008 and he was uh he had cerebral palsy right and he needed mm -hmm. a wheelchair van so like everybody just came together in like a spirit bomb of donations and bought him a wheelchair van like wholesome stories and it wacky internet mysteries is what i've been doing lately so um there's a lot of internet side quests if you will that just don't get covered or like no one has talked about and that's the stuff that i really am interested in researching i'm super into that's, like analog cool. horror. mr black darkness oh my god the get the goth guy that's like one of my favorite videos ever dude i didn't even know about that i watched that it auto played while i was in the shower and I was like cleaning myself, scratching my my ass, and then and then I was like looking at my phone for twenty minutes, fucking Dude, watching the video. Mr. Shout out to Mr. Black Darkness six six six. I don't, he's, he's I don't awesome. think he's really that active on YouTube anymore. But the guy, uh, for the people who don't remember this guy, he was one of the various individuals that Leafy is here would like make fun of, make fun of in his videos. He was this crazy goth guy that was over the top. He did like satanic rituals and videos, and people thought he was this unironic, like insane dude. But you know, he was a troll. Like yeah. he did this stuff for attention. You know, Oompa, like one of the, one of the funniest things that he does, uh, it, it gave it away for me. Was like. At the end of his videos, he would, he would be like, you know what? Screw all of you guys. This video is over. I'm turning it black. It would like put his arm over yeah, and put his hand yeah. over and turn it black. <laughs> I'm, I'm turning, turning it, it black. black. Shout out to Mr. Black Darkness, though. Yeah, he's awesome. I, I, I love uh, that guy. I had a video that's kind of in the vein of, uh, of, of your style, but like it's uh, it, it, it's taken a little bit because I'm covering all those angry video game reviewers from back in the day and shit. Oh, hell yeah. Do you remember like the fucking one really big guy, like the Nico Kato of like the video game review? It's like pissed off. Well, they're all like pissed off angry gamers. Yes, I've been looking into this guy, the pissed off angry hardcore yeah. gamer. Yeah, he was like, like, dude, he was like, like oh, he was like Orthodox <laughs> Jewish. Like he was some, he was this weird dude, fat like, guy. Rush, he was this Man, Russian, cringe, like Orthodox right? Jewish dude. And, and he had like a cane. <laughs> He's like, this is the Nintendo shit cube. Yeah, the it Nintendo is a big console. <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, that, what that, the I, fuck? I, I'm butchering it, but it's like the pissed off, hardcore, angry game review guy, and like, like Muda was saying, he, you know, the the side character that's in uh, Borat, like Borat's assistant, that fat dude. Oh he, my god, he, I think his name's mm -hmm. like Abramov or something. He looks exactly yeah. like that guy, and he's about the same weight, but he has like, he was apparently like handicapped. He walked around with a cane and shit, and he reviewed games and poked the GameCube with his cane. He's like the Nintendo shit cube. It is the worst console of all time. Oh, As dude, we I, all I know, Arthur does like a Mario. He, no, but you know the funny thing? He sound like, so every time, like, because he's obviously a larger individual, he's like, mm -hmm. this is the <gasps> Nintendo <laughs> shit school. Oh, and no. Oh, get on this guy. <laughs> like, I didn't. I didn't. Even, I didn't even fucking expose this I, guy soon. Actually, dude, Muda, I, I managed to track him down on Facebook, and I sent a message to him, and like I instantly got blocked. So yeah, I, yeah. I don't think he takes too. It's him, and like there's this other girl that like issued a privacy complaint against me, and I had this video in the back burner. Like I fucking redid it, boys. Like I, I George Lucas this video, and I'm gonna rip on it even again. You know that girl with like the Sonic marriage licenses? Oh no, I don't know this so, one. Fill me in. So I'm not gonna say her name because she's gonna privacy strike this video. Like we're talking like legal, like like lawyers from like Sonic's Struck. universe is gonna come down. Okay, like fucking OC lawyer are gonna hit that but she had like so so this is like an entire forum right sonic passions 
I don't know if you guys so like Sonic Passions is tiny like web form, right? Where people would go in and and it would just be like stupid shit. Like they would have marriage licenses, like I am officially married to Amy Rose. I am officially married to Tails. Like some of the fucking <laughs> wildest weird shit. Yeah. It had polls where like the average question was <sighs> Where would you guys take Eggman, right? And obviously the poll answers would be oh. in the you know what I mean? Like so what does Eggman <laughs> right. cum taste like? And it would just Oh my these God. are the questions. Devil bags. Oh. That would be a thing. Sonic Passion. So she would she would like post, post, post. And she would be like the only one married to like I think it was Knuckles. Oh, and like God. anybody else that came in, she's like, mm I He's the I, hot yeah, one. He is the hot one. What about he, Shadow? Though? Doubt. Shadow I mean yeah, Shadow, real. Though, right? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Just into Sh- the goth girls. Sh- Shadow's not like the other hedgehogs, so I, I don't know how many people want to marry. Them. <laughs> Shadow's yeah, not different. like the other girls. He has a penis. Kn- Knuckles, yeah. Knuckles seems like more of the abusive husband type. You know, I mean, he, he's. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's he, true. He, kind he of. Your ass Sh- out if Sh- you Shadow, that. Shadow would give you pillow talk. He'd ask you how your day was. You know, Sonic would be done in like thirty seconds. You gotta go oh, by the way, since um, I- I've been researching game theories for a potential video, did you know that Mad Pet made a 15-minute analysis theory that the Chaos Emeralds are not actually emeralds because they're not all green? Did you know he did that? <laughs> what? <laughs> he, made whole- he made a whole video in 2017 saying they're actually probably different colors of quartz because they're not emeralds. <laughs> That's just more egregious than him saying I've never watched porn in my life like it's I love <laughs> by the way he yeah. just did a stream where one of my audience asked him like have you watched porn and he was like no never yeah, he's like, <laughs> like little did you know the I, don't bl- I mean it's red so it's actually a ruby a I, wonder if, theory, I wonder if maybe. like keemstar will ever cover the leaked search history of like matpat in a video ever <laughs> this youtuber claimed to never watch porn next thing we found Lives out six pages it. of his history was just porn Bro, that's the Darman lesson. Weird shit. The too. Darman lessons. <laughs> while, we're, while we're like while we're on that pad, I, what was the actual context of him bringing that up? Was that in a like a edit? Oh, was was that in yeah, an edited weird. video? Because that makes it fifty times funnier if, if it was. It, it was not. It was. Uh, it was in the live stream. Actually, one of live our stream, producers, yeah. Gamer from Mars. He made like a video roasting MatPat or something, mm-hmm. and MatPat reacted to it and focused on the part where. Gamer from Mars said that Matt Pat's just probably re- – his research is like a lot of, you know, watching a lot of porn because he made a video of like best boobs in gaming or something. Oh, my and, uh, God. His, yeah. defense, his defense was, I have never watched porn. He said, well, I've never that watched porn. Already- <laughs> he's a, he's the then, Ben Shapiro of gaming. <laughs> that, that argument is fundamentally flawed, uh, Gamer from Mars, because I've never watched porn. Okay, so – And his wife is like – Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, okay, his wife ben literally Shapiro, fucking laughs at ben him. Ben Shapiro, I can believe, has never seen porn just because of the way that he gets all weird and skittish around the word pussy. He were, like, he's, he's funny, dude. Hilarious. Yeah, he's but hilarious. Matt Pat, like, you can't make a video with best boobs in gaming and you haven't, like, looked up Tifa titties or something, Come right? On, like, yeah. You can't Come be on, a Matt gamer. Pat. You know, you've seen that Rule 34, porn, bro. Matt Pat. Yeah, 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 you ask about Rule 34, he's like, yeah. oh, shit. Come on, Matt I'd Pat. never Google that one. You feber. Never, never heard you of that. You said cut the comps. Matt yeah. Pat's a f- what if like he's just like a super freak, but he's like married to someone that's like Matt. You better not be looking at that Rule Thirty Four on the internet. That them that's yeah, cheating. And he's, that's and he's cheating. Just, like sitting there, like I've never looked up FNAF porn. I've never looked up FNAF porn. It's just like going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I've meme, never like, looked up yeah. Chica with breasts. Like, come on, guys. It's this yeah, mantra. Like, we've right. listen. We've all seen video game. Porn. We've all seen it. Like, let's not let's not even pretend that that was that wasn't a thing. Now Jack Off to it has a different story. I've never fucking touched myself to a video game character. I can at least say that one hundred. Tell that to the Italian Senate. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to say that, Muda. I assumed already. <laughs> Now I'm a little suspicious. No, I though. swear to God, I'll take a polygraph test over it right now. I swear, <laughs> I've never, the hand of God, touched myself at a video game character. Like I, this, uh-huh. this is my mm-hmm. thing. Back uh-huh. in the day, when like, l- listen. So there, this stems from like trauma on YouTube. Okay, for a while, my recommendeds were filled with, yo, they made Tifa ugly in the remake, right? Like in the FF7 Bro. remake. And then I like Googled her up on the PlayStation. I'm like, dog. You can't jack off to the original character. She's like three triangles on the PlayStation 1. <laughs> How are you able to achieve this? Yeah. <laughs> like, you must have the imagination of God. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the fuck? 
I couldn't like they're like Resident like remember when Resident Evil Three remake was coming out? It's like they put a hijab on Jill. Fuck unfuckable. Can't do it. I'm like guys. Listen, I don't think I could do much on the original PlayStation 1 either. That shit was running at a resolution smaller yeah. than smartwatches. Yeah, that shit's Let's not, be honest. That shit's not curves. That's like 90 degree angles on those bodies, yeah. you know? Like, you, like, like you need... Yeah, like, it's you sharks. look at a character from back then, and you're like, you can fucking calculate the Pythagorean theorem on their ass. Nowadays, <laughs> at least they're like 4K updated. Oh, it's like, yeah, hey, this looks nice. You know, it almost looks like a real person. But still, you don't, okay? Because you're playing Resident Evil. You're getting chased by zombies. You're not sitting there to jack off the characters, okay? Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a strange juxtaposition, for sure. Especially with it's Resident a, it's Evil. A, it's a, <laughs> gamers get a bad fucking rap over this shit, man. I'm telling you. We get a bad rap over horniness and all this nonsense. But but pissed off I mean, I'd say it's... Gamers. It's kind of accurate rap for a lot of people. Uh, Is it really though? How, I don't know. Especially you. Know, maybe you. in the VTuber community, it's definitely. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. The demand. No, no. This guy's horny as fuck. Wait, how many, how many VTubers in the community? I, I have to imagine. Can you smell some of the Discord chats that you're in? Bro, I, yes. <laughs> you, you, you can sense them. It's, it's weird. Okay, I'm telling you. I. I released like a YouTube figure. Like I got actual like jar photos, like full jar photos with like my YouTube of figure you? in it. And then come in the jar. Oh my god! Yeah, you know, like yeah, you're like about to be in a mean, Justin but... Wang video. Boy, you got tributed. Oh come on, I got, it's wholesome, I got dude. Tributed. <laughs> hey, man, wholesome is no. Yeah. Bro, you got tributed, <laughs> yeah, bro. That's, that's sick. A... But yeah, and that's that's me. Okay. That's kind of <laughs> that's like, kind of a big girl. deal, Nux. Like that's. That's that's a they're paying homage, bro. Like they really love you. Cause yeah, the three of us, I doubt we've ever been tributed like that. That's impressive. That person put in the effort. Don't worry, bro. bro mm -hmm. Huda, you release a figure, send it to me, and I got you home. Oh yes. <laughs> no, no, let's go. Okay. All right. Bet. Free, let's free. Go for New it. video on your channel. I tributed Whoa. my podcast, homie. Like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> let the advertisers know about it. Bro, this like, video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Dude, oh speaking God, of like rule that. rule thirty four and like the internet's weird sexual uh, interests, like I'm actually impressed at how little of that type of stuff is on Reddit Place right now. Like I'm taking a look and there's no like just dicks drawn everywhere. Yeah, like, yeah. Was, well, uh, I, I feel like the only fans... that's just because the streamers need it to be streamable. You know, like if I, every time you look yeah. at it, it's just what, Charlie's council right, of cock thumbnails. What do you think there would be gonna... like some hidden group of like four chan trolls that want to like get everyone banned from Twitch and just like draw? A dick on there or something is this fortune that's a good idea shit like that anymore or I, what so i so i think it's it, it kind of is like because recently i covered the facebook metaverse shit right like hmm. so they were they were originally trying to do pools closed again right with the metaverse okay and i'm gonna chalk that up to the fact that it was an expensive thing to do like not everyone's going to buy like vr headsets to jump in and like participate in an already dead metaverse when it came to place you would think that they would have like threads like ready to go because i thought what 4chan would do is they would just like go see the whole thing you know yeah like it would just it would just be go see like, yeah just spread honestly ass spread the reason eagle. why i think it didn't happen is because i think 4chan is a lot smaller than we think it is yeah like it's a true. much much smaller group of people like i think all of 4chan combined is smaller than a single like xqc stream you're probably you're probably right the influence of the website over the years has dwindled like it, I, I think, like you said, something as small as a subreddit probably could have more influence than the entirety of 4chan nowadays. I think the thing with 4chan is like there's a lot more chan boards that are on. And if you ever look at like some of the like 4chan is actually way less extreme than some of the other like chan boards that you'll find mm -hmm. uh, in terms of like repulsive shit that they can do. Yeah, like so I think it's. Yeah, like, yeah, A chan. I think, well, A chan I don't think is even legal because they host like some dark, dark material. But the thing with a lot of those chan sites is like 4chan used to be like this large community and now it's like splintered off into like even more extreme image board communities. Also, there's a weird like politicization of like a lot of those threads where like I, I have to say back in 2008 when you went on 4chan, there was less of like armies and brigading and all this nonsense and more of like, hey, guys, there's some fucking uh, for there's like some have a hotel rule. We can't cross each other. Let's just block off poles. Like there's been like a massive shift in tone mm -hmm. and the kind of people that go onto that website. 
that uh, you don't have shit like place coming in because I was surprised that there weren't dicks just yeah. being posted all over. Like well, still, when, well, I, I t- actually took a look at the uh, old 2017 final image of place, and there really wasn't anything vulgar there. But I just thought maybe this time around people would be really degenerate. XQC yesterday while I was streaming, he made a big dick that was that was uh shooting a hot load onto My Little Pony. <laughs> I wonder if it's still there. Uh, it- yeah, it's gone. It disappeared Ke- almost uh, immediately. Caleb, you you got something on place for a while. Is it still there? Like I think you're. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah. It's a. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, what did you I'll stream for? for it, yeah. How did you do this? Like I'm I'm interested. My Discord community just like they love. I guess they just appreciate the the community a lot, and then they put it up there. There's like a a big muscular guy with uh, a six pack, and he's got a funny looking head, and then right below it, there's my. The brand Sour.gg has a thing, and then my channel has a thing yeah, right there below it. That's Still, it's been three Can days we, like, now. Send that in the in the in the this group, group Discord because I'll, I'll use it, it as a thumbnail yeah. on my like place video today because I really. Oh hell yeah! Do, do you know? Yeah. Uh, do you By know when the, place? Yep. Do you guys That's know when quarters. place ends? No. I think it's tomorrow. I, don't know. It's I thought tomorrow. it ended yesterday. April, oh no! It is today, tomorrow actually. Okay. Because it's April fourth. Yeah. Today. What were, you gonna, today. what were you going to say, Nug? Sorry for cutting you off. Oh, no, it's good. Uh, I saw one streamer, I don't remember who it was, I think it was Misgif, that, like, he he wanted to put something, and he was erasing, like, a transgender flag, and he's like, what is this flag? Like, he had no idea what it was, and then his chat's like, he's like, oh, I had no idea! <laughs> yeah, right, of course. Yeah, right, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> he's, like, oh, no. he's, like, he's like, what is this flag? Get this shit out what of here. They're like, yeah, oh. this is color... Yeah. You're about so, to get, did you see how like XQC was fighting the Turkish flag creators and the flag creators yeah. were like running their own streams? Like, no, must defend. Tur-. Dude, I will say the only thing out of place that gets me are the Germans, okay? Like, nobody has fucking messaged them that you cannot invade every aspect of land, okay? Your flag has to be like, their flag just covers the entire thing. Like, there was this one meme that I was seeing, like, how countries see, like, you know, the world, and it's like them relegated to their own sections, and the German flag just covers, like, the entire section section of earth that's what they were doing with place it was like yeah. you have 14 french flags just sitting around all divided communities and then the germans are just like big long strip and i'm like guys it's not cute okay well, i mean you and, gotta, like, and they're like bro we can't help it it's in our nature man yeah it's right a, it's, this, it's, is, that's this, this is this would be the, yeah. this is the with this place this is the fourth time they've tried to invade a large piece of land <laughs> yeah but, um the first one, I've noticed, the second I, I, one. I noted at the very beginning of place there was like a large resistance to anyone making a Russian flag. I don't know if there are any Russian flags on there right now, but there was no, like, you know, know. obviously people were like super, you know, um, with the Ukraine stuff, they were like, no Russian flags, no Russian flags. I think even r slash Russia is trying to get rid of the Russian flag. And like there even was, they don't even want there to. Was a, the, apparently the Siberian flag, I think, is uh, somewhat similar to it. And people were deleting that one because they thought it was Russian. Yeah, I, uh, I, th- yeah, because I haven't, I haven't. Well, the Russian flag is what red. What, it's what, like what the, is, it's uh, like what the it opposite colors? of us. So it's we're red, white, and blue, and they're blue, white, and red. I believe, like yeah, ascending to descending. I believe a lot of European, Eastern European countries are very similar. Yeah, so it's like sometimes because I know that I, I know it's like you can use like the Serbian flag and like the like it, some of those flags are very similar. I, when it comes to like colors like that, I'm not so. I don't know. I, I wasn't really looking for it. Like a German flag, you just notice because it's like, oh, here's r slash Poland, right? Yeah. Oh, fuck, here's Germany coming well, in. Okay. In Germany, they, <laughs> had to, <laughs> they had to repeat the meme too because they did this last place. Like they had an like an eighth of the map tied up at some point, you know. I'm also pleased to see like Rainbow Road came back. That was a really big one last time. Blue Do you see Corner... Canada still hasn't gotten it right though. What say that again? The can Canada didn't get it right though. <laughs> like we were just like we couldn't even build a fucking leaf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, I, I haven't seen the Canada thing. Is it fucked up? Like what's wrong Dude, with it, it? It was literally like it's like it's like fucking. It was just watching like just. It, it was just hell because there's like a time lapse of Canada for like two days. They were trying to like draw the f- like Canadian maple leaf, like the one thing. And the funny thing, it's right next to Japan, so same colors between each other. And like even in my video, I'm like, guys, Canada, okay? Like like Japan was kind of roasty about it. I'm like, Japan, shut the fuck up. You have like one dot on the fucking middle of your flag. <laughs> yeah. No one cares, okay? Yeah, like a seven year old could draw your flag. Yeah, like, let's right? go. Like, like <laughs> get out of here, okay? Like fucking. And then Canada, it's like, oh, we're trying to get the flag in. We're trying to get the maple leaf, and then it's to a banana or something like they tried making a but i'm like guys okay this is just sad come on now like i think canada is going to be like and every attempt of the canadian flag has been a failure there's not one 
like Canadian flag that I saw that was normal at all. I mean, it's I, kind I of hard no to draw a leaf in like adding that. anything. Go yeah, go ahead. Is. No, that's <laughs> um, not true. The Mexicans have like the greatest flag ever. I don't want to hear that excuse. <laughs> the fuck? No, it's like they have the whole cast of like Delta Rune on place, right? Like if they could do that, they could make a leaf. That is true. Okay. Any moment when you zoom into that place, Matt, you can find an Among Us character. Of course. As I know, yeah. It's like modern day thumbnails. There's a, there's a little Among Us right beside my uh, Somebody thing too. Made a script. I don't know if you can find it, but like the Among script us. actually detects like every 15 seconds how much Among Us exists on it, and they never no! factored in upside down Among Us, so it's actually like way more. Like unironically, <laughs> like so there's like, I found a Waldo, and when I zoomed into the Waldo, I was like, there's oh no, there's like yeah, there was Among Us in there, dude. This this one character's nipples Oof. were made out of Among Us, and like so, my brother, he like you know, Discord calls me, he's like, hold on, I want to, because he's the one who like pointed out all the Among Us, and like he had Among Us vision, because like he'd like zoom into that section, and I zoomed in, he's like, he pointed out all the Among Us on the screen recording. I'm like, this is this is decrepitly sad. There's but, probably uh, an, there's probably an Among Us somewhere in this pattern. I've never even thought to look. <laughs> Bro, they're among yes. us. They truly are. Among they're all us. around, man. A schizophrenic's nightmare among us. They're everywhere. Us. <laughs> we should. Uh, we should bring back Among oh Us. God. It's gonna. That have... idea is truly more Dude, sus uh, than uh, a character from Among <laughs> Us. Yes. Shout, shout out to Internet of Jay for that one. Um. Dude, you know the thing about Among Us is, is it's gonna have one of those like ironic revivals. It, it, it eventually, like years from now, kids that grew up oh, with it, it definitely it, will like Minecraft Absolutely. did, you know, and they'll be like, "Let's play Among Us," and they're like, the kids that were like thirteen or fourteen will be like twenty five, and then streamers will start playing it again. It's it's just destined to happen. I mean, I, think it'll I happen love soon. the passive aggressiveness of most of the Among Us streamer community. Like you would just click like for a lot of us, it's cool because like we, we kind of all like, you know, vibe with each other. So it's like I know if I play with Umpi and like Charlie and Nux and you, it's like, oh, whatever we play it. But sometimes you go to like the Among Us competitions and it's like everyone Bro. just wants to be the number one clip. <laughs> Oh my god! It's like yeah. the yeah. most it's passive horrible. aggressive shit. And I'm not naming names, but y'all know who the fuck you are. Like, <laughs> you there know. are be people that were so annoying. Like, I, I remember being in an Among Us session. I was so visibly fucking angry in my. I was like the old man, just angry at the world. Right? Like, we were in the middle of this one thing, and it was just like my ears were destroyed. I didn't sleep well the other night. And, like, fucking, <laughs> they were trying to get, like, clips in. Like, this one dude, I don't even remember his name, but, like, the amount of screaming. And as soon as you get into the deliberation phase, like, I didn't even do anything wrong, okay? Like, I'm on, like, Reddit looking at, like, buttholes. And this guy's like, I think mood is sus. I'm like, motherfucker, what did I do that was wrong, okay? Like, I, I literally did all my tasks. It's okay? so but dumb, yeah. Yeah, like, if you want to boot me off, boot me off. I'm just going to go fucking watch, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go watch Family Guy anyways. And the fact <laughs> that I'm watching Family Guy instead of play a video game with you just shows you how dead and boring the session was. I'm like, I'd rather watch, I'd rather watch off-brand Simpsons than play with you motherfuckers. But hey, shit, I don't care. Like, Christ. Yeah, I never, I never really it. got super into Among Us. Like, I, I, I watched did. the big streamers play it, but uh, I, was, I was like, dude, I would just get pissed off and, like, rage and... Fuck it, you know, like, the I don't even with, care to play this. The thing with Among Us is, like, I feel like I'm not the only one that feels like it was just, like, remember Trouble in Terrorist Town back on Gary's Mod? Who, who remember that? I don't know. I remember that. I, I never played it. Played it, it but... literally is, like, Trouble in Terrorist Town. So Trouble in Terrorist Town was fun because, yeah. like, you got the Papa dude in the head when they pissed you off enough, you know what I mean? Like, you actually did it. You didn't I mean, watch like, a... Team Kill. Yeah, right? Like, you were just, yeah. like, like, you heard, like, a gunshot in the distance. Like, I don't know, man. I just... Something just went off. The, like, you have to come up with, like, outlandish shit. There was no deliberation. It was just, like, somebody running around, like, randomly yeah. killing people. c yeah. And, uh, yeah, like, those that, that group used to play that all the time. <clears throat> I miss c -Nanners. I miss that's that G-Mod era. Back in 2012. 2012. Holy shit. I do, but we're, he we're, missed so the this would have been So this would have been, like, Let's Plays on YouTube at that yeah. point? Okay. Yeah. This would have been, did, like, when, when did, PewDiePie like, was, like, fucking in Stefano and, like, Amnesia. Blowing. Yeah. Yeah. Blowing when did up. Twitch? Because like, it was just in TV. Like, when did people start streaming on Twitch? Would that have been like 2013 ish? I think so. Honestly, my first stream that I've ever seen probably also dates all the way back to 2010. Because um, no, even even before that. So when uh, 2010 or 2011. So I know my first gaming stream that I ever saw was back when Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker came out, like the PSP version of Metal Gear. 
And mm-hmm. it was my first stream ever. And it was on Justin TV. Like somebody was streaming it. And I was like blown away back then. I'm like, how are they recording the PSP perfectly? What the like, fuck, dude? <laughs> and it was I like, felt like that about, yeah, about making videos even when I was younger. I was like, how the fuck, yeah. dude? <laughs> but I, I think Twitch shortly came after that. And, you know, the rest is Honestly, basically history. I think Twitch really blew up like through covid like, everyone was stuck at home and people watched Twitch. Like, streaming was never the wave until COVID, I think. It gave it, yeah, it really did yeah. kind of boost up. Like, it became more mainstream. Cause it, it was just, like, esports and fails, like, live stream yeah. fails before that. Because I, I, I like remember... Now you have the, the concept of, like, someone sitting just chatting for 10 hours didn't exist, like, before COVID. Yeah, I remember thinking back in 2018, like, when you had ice and like train wrecks and stuff were like really big at that time. I thought that was like big for Twitch, but after COVID, I mean, it's probably like 10 X since then, as far as like people going and it's changed a lot. Like it's still hard to watch a stream though. Like I I still like, I like streaming, but like, I can't watch a stream for more than like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I just need like an actual video. Yeah. I usually, I'm with you, man. I only tune into Twitch. Like whenever there's smash bros tournaments on like melee tournaments, I'll watch Twitch or like, (laughs) bro, I don't um, have time to watch streams. No time to watch streams. (laughs) I I like, uh, I think the closest, I get is like when uh when Caleb's streaming like I'll put on one of yours because you're like recording just discord like laughs and I'm doing it because obviously you're a friend but obviously like you just keep us rotating through like new videos and it's mm-hmm. like it's like watching somebody like basically TikTok for you or like just go through YouTube videos yeah. for you <laughs> while you were basically yeah. yeah like that's how I kind of do it but like when you got like big streamers who are like doing these mega pro like I can't like I like Asmund Gold a lot. I watch his YouTube Dude, videos yeah, more. I, I do like Asmund. I like Asmund Gold. But yeah, I, I can't cool. do his streams. Like I, I don't do Zach streams because I don't. I don't really sit down. I'm like I can't watch you play like a fucking MMO for hours on end or do something like that. But when it comes to like a YouTube video, I'm like, oh, I'm full dick for it. I'm like, oh, this guy's like, and a YouTube video way more consumable than like a three four yeah. hour stream. I don't. I don't have yeah, it's hard to get yeah, into like, it. I don't have the time for it. And also it's like, am I really like watching it at all if I'm like editing a video and you're just like background noise? Like yeah, some I people think the too. only streamer like I actually put on his back. I feel bad. Like I think we've been interrupting each other the we, whole time waving. We've only we've only done it like two <laughs> times. It's good, man. You go ahead. The, the the only streamer like I put on like as background noise is Charlie. Cause I don't actually need to like listen to what he's saying it's just the occasional random blurb blurbs of like hilarity like yeah. the random metaphors it's like yeah he's awesome you know it's like this is almost as bad as the time that men in black decided to make a sequel you know like the, the random stupid yeah. Little, yeah like i think that's the, char- the that's best the charlie isms yeah that, yeah, that, is, that the is the best like side sort of stream stuff to have anything that involves you to like think like anything that like makes you n- not in front of, like xqc it's like i tried watching some of his stuff when he was doing gta roleplay, and i was like man this guy's speaking way too fast for me like it's just it's like my brain is hurt any of the gta roleplay community because some of it you have to really invest yourself into and i'm just like i can't do that man i don't even also care the way i see anything that good that happens in a stream will be in a highlight yeah so, so like you know why watch the stream <laughs> I'll get the highlight a day later. Yeah, the crazy, exactly. The yeah. crazy Twitch meta right now is I've seen, like, you know, obviously the reactions to, like, YouTube videos, like, the long-form YouTube videos, but I've seen Twitch reactions that are, like, an hour and a half VODs that they're uploading now to, like, a 20 to 30 minute, maybe, like, cooking episode or, like, somebody's other, somebody's video. That's just, like, a content machine right there if you're able to do that dude you know how much i fucking hate the fact that i just did like like uh so i've been doing a lot of like horror arg videos like the analog horror shit and mm-hmm. it's like they're hour-long videos and they take a lot of time to obviously you know sit down a lot edit more together. Than an hour. yeah so i'm like sitting over there making them and then like it's just like the next week it's like oh man this guy's just gonna take the video like record his camera and then just like oh fuck me dude I'm like i don't <laughs> care but i'm like damn like you gotta feed them somehow i said the same thing to coffee when i was doing like save the kids and like rubet i was like like halfway in the middle we just kept joking i'm like well at least we're feeding the twitch streamers this month i mean shit you should make like a little joke in your next one of those be like hey <laughs> just do something really fucking weird like, and, and fourth wall breaking just make it real subtle so they pick it up and know who's boss like, I'll, so, do, I'll like, just yeah. look at him like remember where the down payment on that Tesla came from 
That's right. <laughs> People always do that to Hassan. It's pretty How, funny. How's your Porsche, Hassan? How's your, how's your Porsche? How's your Porsche? <laughs> you enjoying the take on? Yeah, I'd be like, I, be, I bet you're saving a lot of money on gas, right? Like, yeah, the, the, uh, li- the, the live Hassan reaction right here. I, I fucking, I still love the fact that, like, every time <laughs> that man, left. like... <laughs> Yeah, he's, he just, he's Hassan. Yeah, that was the Hassan he, reaction. He Hassan does. I, I still, I still love. He did the a Hassan Porsche. bit. I love, I love the Porsche meme though. Like, it's, I knew oh, that so motherfucker funny. was getting so much shit the moment he like revealed that car. Yeah, dude, but he knew he was getting it too. So he doesn't give a did fuck. He, did nah. he give it away or did he actually like buy it no, to use it? No, it wasn't a no. donor. Give it I, away? I, I thought I saw something about it. it was like a giveaway thing, but maybe he's I'm a thinking socialist, something else. not a philanthropist. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was not. That take can was not a fucking giveaway. Let me tell you, that was yeah. That was actually a fucking funny ass crack right there. (laughs) You you didn't write. You didn't write that one down, Nux. That was good. It's immortalized. He's a socialist, not a philip. Fuck you. Yeah, but that, that was uh, that was that was. I I, lo- I love our friends over at Twitch. I, I love I love all of our streamer friends. And you know what? The, I will always say this. What I love the most about Twitch is like it's not like YouTube where there's so much fragmentation between communities. You know what I mean? Like when we started yeah. this podcast, it was really weird. Is like people were like, "How is it that you guys even know each other?" I'm like, "Right, yeah." Have you seen the content that we cover? Okay, all right. Yeah, and, and then and then I remembered. I'm like one guy. One guy covers anime. One guy covers computer viruses and random. And the shit. other guy covers fat people. <laughs> like <laughs> it is. It is kind of that was pretty interesting mix. That was pretty fat people. Yeah, when we all met, it's pretty fat people. <laughs> yeah, we met pretty fat people. That's, That's recent. True. And, and, then, and then I'm like, recent. maybe, maybe, maybe the difference is, is that like, whenever there's like, there's no thing on YouTube like a meta, right? Like, I, I don't think we can say that YouTube has a definitive meta. Is that true? I, it, has I guess waves. There is. it has waves of yeah. stuff that work better than others. Like right now, like anything that's like analog horror, or like dark, like sort of like true crime stuff seems to be popping super hard right now. Anything and, in that yeah, lane. true crime pops even, off even until if the YouTube meta's not like you. super get yeah, demonetized and shadow realmed. And no, then but even you, if it's uh, not super obvious, like. A thumbnail in the corner of a guy freaking out, like you know, you know that Dude, that face. The, th- the thumbnail meta is my favorite shit on YouTube to just watch. Like the thumbnails that come out. There's a Twitter account that most of the thumbnails are gamer from Mars thumbnails, but it's like YouTube <laughs> thumbnails, and it's just like really infamous ones, like the gamer from Mars uh, drinking abuse lies, and the Chris Chan one is uh, they called him gay. <laughs> they called Dude, him I gay. love his thumbnails. They called him gay. He's got really good thumbnails. I, I always like it when um. Or recently the. There was one that was after the slap, and it was Will Smith and Chris Rock, and they made it seem like they were in a FaceTime call. It would that it's like that shit is funny to me, dude. Like the obviously, cl- it's like clickbait, but you get away with it, bro. Yeah, YouTube thumbnails was the r slash place before r slash place. I I just I so liked sad. it when like back in I remember I was in like a call. This was like years ago. I had to be like. Years ago, I had to be, like, a much smaller and, like, fucking... So around this time in the Discord, they would give you, like, unsolicited advice on, like, the right way to YouTube. Yeah. And I was just, like... They mm-hmm. were, like, giving me this thumbnail advice, right? Like, you gotta up the contrast. Like, saturation must be at a max. And I, like, I legit was so, like, fucking tilted with the idea. I opened a Premiere. I, like, found a still of my face. I'm, like, all right, let's just stretch it out max. <laughs> eyes one side and the eye and then i like printed that out as a png and i upload and i called it a day like my best thumbnails were like when i like upload a video i talked about this with charlie i'm like when you when youtube gives you your three auto generated ones i'm like that looks fine sure we'll go with that one fuck it mad respect <laughs> i mean i remember you made a video uh pyro was right where you just made the thumbnail just black i did yeah like, just so that, that was a great thumbnail yeah i was Not like, gonna lie that's... yo muda you have this thumbnail uh on your video that's called I don't trust antivirus software. I don't. And this is a question that I've had because uh, let me show you something. I don't Uh-oh. know if this will show up on like camera correctly, but like, you see how it's like distorted? But you want to know how you do that? Yo, did you do that or is I that like do a that. YouTube, YouTube glitch? YouTube fucked it up. When I saw that, I was like, we're going with this one. I was sick. It's so oh, fucking funny yeah. though. It's I saw that pop up and I was like. He's a genius if he did this there, because it's like a, I don't trust antivirus so, software and your face is like. So I always say that it's a YouTube glitch, but I know how to trigger it. So basically, when YouTube gives you three auto-generated thumbnails, basically in like a span of thirty seconds, you have to make sure you switch between both thumbnails and like save that in your video editor. And after you've done mm-hmm. it like a few times, it'll just glitch it. Like YouTube just glitches it, and you can like prep it, and you're like, oh, that's what it looks like. All right, release it. That's a, yeah. That's, that's, 
whenever it gets glitched, I'm like, that's fine. That's Let's all go. I mean. That's it's all, really cool because so it's funny. like oh makes, I don't trust antivirus software, and it's like like the thumbnail tells the story of like the antivirus just like melting your face somehow. I, I yeah. think it's hilarious. Oh, dude, no. I remember seeing that one too. That was pretty funny. That was early last year, wasn't it? I yeah, so, I, I tweeted I tweeted it out because I thought it was so funny. I remember, and it's just stuck with me. I wanted to ask you that, like for about a year now so no, I, I know I, the answer straight up like when it came when it comes to any of that shit when i can like when i can when youtube can data mosh the thumbnail for me i'm like all right we'll go with that fuck it that's that's all i need. yeah youtube deep fried it for you dude i know that that's what that's what i love about it too i'm like whenever i can like whenever i can make the inbuilt like thumbnail generator fuck itself up i'm like it's all i need i even told like one of the youtube reps that i had i'm like that's that's what i attempt to do and they didn't even know that it did that i'm like bro it, well, the funny thing is mo- a lot of like the YouTube backend reps, they don't know some of the changes that happen on the site constantly. I'm like, just don't fix your thumbnail generator. When it fucks up, it's beautiful. That's all I need. <laughs> like, that's what yeah, I you can, They don't know <laughs> shit. Like, yeah, you could can, you can fix the age restriction, you know, fix the demonetization, but uh, don't touch the thumbnail generator. It's it's fine. That's the one thing with the that true section. crime stuff, man. Like, how is it that – are we all getting age restricted, I've noticed? Like – I know. I know that it's not like just my channel. Yeah. I know that everyone. Yes, I've had. I've. I've had issues even with some of the seemingly innocuous stuff that I've done. Like I did a video that uh, talked about like the downfall of uh, know your not know your meme behind the meme. You know, remember yeah. that guy? Mm-hmm. Sure. And uh, he talks about uh, in the video, mm-hmm. and like that video got age restricted, restricted, and it got a uh, like a warning that you have to click through. To even watch the video. What other what, what issues have you guys been seeing though, as far as age restrictions? Mr. Beast got I a, get video a lot of videos. age restricted. Did you see that? Yeah. Wait, for no, you get fireworks. age restricted for your your for your shit. Uh sometimes, yeah. Yeah. So I know I get yeah. age restricted for saying fuck too many times. I don't know how many times but you can I, say yeah. it. Yeah. I, I have a suspicion. Like I was actually researching this. I think t- YouTube thinks that female VTubers are hentai. Like, I really think they think that. Because, like... They're pretty any, close. Fair enough. That's but every time I have, sure. like, a female VTuber in a thumbnail or whatever, it gets, like, it gets dinged. It gets, it gets age-restricted. So I uh, I reached out to, like, a clipper. Like, someone that uploads, like, clips of VTubers. And they get, like, an insane percent of their videos age-restricted. Like, I, I just think YouTube doesn't know. I They're honestly like, oh, think yeah. it has to do with, like, the... Because re- there is, like, a manual reviewer. Like, there's farms of manual reviewers they click on it and they hear the voices and they're like what does she not like it's just fucking you know like high pitch <laughs> what it's just high pitch anime chick so it's like listen if i was like moderating i'm like that's hentai that's porn oh right there God. genshin impact oh that's Dude, definitely what? porn what the fuck yeah <laughs> Dude, fucking i don't know how genshin survived that bro. shit Dude, there are Another some thing... like animation channels that i i don't know how they get away with their stuff like have you seen teleport no so uh, he no. uploads like a little animation every day it's it's like you know 20 second long animations but like every thumbnail is like i don't know how it survives and they get millions of views and they don't get age restricted very often i don't know how the man keeps winning but he does one thing i, one thing I also notice about it that's like guaranteed you're going to get screwed is if you use a clip on that's been age restricted on youtube in the past like if you use yeah. any yeah. kind of clip yeah that's been age restricted at any point you are going to get sent to the shadow realm and you're going to have a hard time getting out unless you clip it out. I, yeah. I, I had thing one that experience I, oh. like that actually where like I uploaded a video and it auto age restricted like immediately upon mm-hmm. seeing the video. It's like, mm-mm, this ain't going live. Yeah. They have like a content ID system just for fucking yeah. you over. Yeah. Yeah, there was uh, a video a... about this Korean game, this Korean streamer, and he lit his underwear on fire. And uh, <laughs> I, I used that clip. I've used that clip, and uh, I, I it was, that, it was yeah. like two seconds, and it got age restricted. So I had to appeal it and get it fixed. Uh, eventually, I got through though. So damn. Cool. But um, there's also another channel I found called Chunky Moons, not so safe space. Uh, and their videos are just like little meme edit kind of things. But if you go to their community tab. They're just straight up posting hentai. Like, what? straight oh up hentai. And they get hundreds of thousands of likes on their community posts. Dude, like, you, it's, you, it's actually insane. YouTube will let you get away link with it. Yeah, link this just to me. I search it. This. <laughs> but, Wait, okay, what is it? Here, oh, let, me, let, me, let me get there. Chunky Moon Not So Safe yeah. Space? I want to see this. Chunky Moon Not So Safe Space. <laughs> it sounds like futuristic hub or something. 
Dude. So like the videos don't some of the videos get like a oh, lot wow, of views yeah. and some of the videos get like no views, but if you look at the community what? tab, every single one is like hundreds of thousands of likes and it's just straight up. Hold on, I mean we How's could, that even we possible? Could just, like, hold on, let me share this screen. Tari, you might have jet. to censor this out. It's naughty. Sorry, you may have to censor this section out, but just well, for everyone's reference. You'll have to censor something. Reference. This is what we're looking at here. Oh my Dude, god! So I'm telling you, and look how many likes they have. Look at the likes on those tweets. On those That's like, nice, bro. Community got, posts. You, the videos are normal because, like, Waifu Wars, the prequel, like, Goblin Trouble. Actually, no, they're they're still kind of sussy. Community. Yeah, they're kind of sussy. Look but... at this. Want to play? That's okay, 10k. I wonder if a community. Yeah, a, I do. Can a community post get age restricted? That's interesting. So uh, usually they just don't can't, get pushed out. Right, they I can't just... get taken down. But, inside her and now she's giving rocks bro I, oh my god so i found this channel and i was like what you can get a strike from a community post too i do know that oh Here my god you. bro this channel's yeah. living on the edge make sure to follow chunky moon on youtube <laughs> already am oh so they're kind of like half censoring it dude this is this is this is tasteful it's not nudes bro it's tasteful. true yeah, this is soft yeah, this is core. Like, this is like edge Cinemax writing. for furries, like the fuck. Bro, it's, see, it's, yeah, it's, when when it's Matt more... said he didn't watch porn, he watched Chunky Moons. It's Mormon Rule 34, dude. <laughs> Since Mormon Rule 34. <laughs> yes, dude. Yeah. Speaking of Mormons, what's your guys' thoughts on polygamy? I'm glad you mentioned that. <laughs> Yeah, I like sharing my wife, bro. Come on now. Like, no, that's not, okay, that's, that's not... They're no, not sharing. You get, you get more than, more than one, one wife. I'm a, that's polyamory uh, you're I'm thinking good, of. I'm good with one. I'm good with one. I have a loving girlfriend, and if she heard anything other, she would probably come in this room and uh, execute yeah. me live, and this video would get age-restricted. She yeah, knuckles you. <laughs> if I said anything further than that, I'd be actually like... You'd, you'd see me in like the bottom of the ocean or something. Yeah, we would get executed. Uh, this video would never get appealed... Edwin reviewed. I will say the same week. The same week that I met Wavy in real life was the same week that I met my girlfriend. Girlfriend. So it's kind of like you know. I was gonna say Muda. I think our girlfriends know each other, they so do. they would like collaborate. They do. Yeah, they would collaborate on the assassination. Yeah, they're both like they're both <laughs> nurses, so they know exactly how to like fucking like kill us. You know what, what I mean? The hell? They know yeah, exactly you know. what to. They yep. know exactly what to infuse. They'll just like cut your heart off. Put a yeah. catheter in. Yeah. Oh my god, my girlfriend showed me how a catheter gets put. In. I didn't even fucking know that. This, but like, oh, yeah, so she, I, she was like, I can put, a, I can tell you, she, I put, I've put dozens of them in. I'm a nurse too, dude. Like, I've done this. Told, it's she, crazy. I'll let you explain so it. So she told me you can sneak it in. Like, she told me she could give me one, and I wouldn't even know that I had it. And I was like, I don't fucking believe that. But she said she could, right? Like, whatever. I wouldn't even be able to feel it. The other thing, she told me what it looks like when like, like ten cc's get put in. Like, it just looks like a fucking balloon. I'm like, right. Yeah, there's a so for those who don't know, you know, the catheter it goes in and like yeah. you would think that's it, but there's actually like a little balloon that you have to inflate with saline and people think that you could just pull the catheter out, right? No. <laughs> no. Uh, there's a balloon that will fucking try to go through your urethra. That was the real internet mystery all along. Cause all kinds of scar <laughs> tissue if you do it. I've seen some crazy things, I'll put it at that. Oh god, I can just We'll make your that. wiener bigger. <laughs> Not in the way you want it, though. Um, no. We'll make your... No. <laughs> you just pee louder. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a fucking trumpet at the end of the day. It looks like just a tube. <laughs> a blunderbuss. Yeah. A blunderbuss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do your do yourself a favor. If you find yourself laid up in the hospital, do not try to pull the catheter out. I uh, I mean, thank God that like Woo. when when I was when I had the appendix surgery, they gave me the little bottle. I was like, I'm just gonna pee in this. I'm gonna have like a little fucking line in me. That's it's not happening. Yeah. Shout out to the shout out to the bedside urinal. <laughs> shout out shout out to all that. I was uh, I figured that out real quick when I found out exactly how a catheter worked. I was like, ain't no fucking way I'm letting that shit. Mm, not. I mean, like, hey, listen, if I, it, it's probably was in me when I was getting shit pulled out, obviously, but like, not when I'm awake. I don't want to look at like a fucking line. It was already weird seeing a drain on the side of your body. I'm like, yo, that's literally where like bad juice is flowing out of my body. That's not. I don't know. Yo, did you? What was it like after after the surgery? Where you were you bloated up with gas? That because like an appendix surgery makes your it kind of like has a lot of air from the surgery, I dude. Was or did they do it through? So a... happy because I was drugged up after it. I was like, this shit's awesome. 
the morning though, I was like, oh shit, the painkillers wore off. I didn't feel gas. I was just that like it's like somebody like stabbed you and just left the knife in. I was like, well, I Muda Muda, you ran out of perk thirties. I did. I was like <laughs> off the perk. The perk thirty. I was like, I was like, uh, I didn't want to ask them for painkillers because I don't want to look like a junkie. But I'm like, I would fucking, I would love if you gave me some of those fuck painkillers, but. I didn't fucking go for it. I was like, they were just giving me antibiotics, and none of that shit like deals with the pain. I mean, I'm sure it like kills whatever is inside you. That's bad, but yeah, it, ke- it keeps you from dying. Yes, I, I guess. Which at that point, I was like, you know, man, with how I'm feeling right now, death, death ain't looking too bad. <laughs> you know but yeah that was a that was its own ordeal did you have to go through all this during like when covid was at its height yeah, yeah. like when did you do there was oh a, my there was god a, there was bro. a pcr test every day this one nurse kept coming in and they were like it's test time today and i'm like you son of a bitch and this is before they had like those like swabs this is like when they fucking poke you up into the brain i'm like not again not today the shitty food and this Dude, christ <laughs> i i hated doing those to people man and the funny thing about about like my nursing stuff with COVID was I was already making enough money on YouTube during COVID, but for some reason I just worked through it and quit after COVID. What so I went through all you? the worst part. What is wrong I went through, with you? I went through all the worst part, you know, cause it's just kind of like, I guess I was anxious. So I was like, well, I went through all this schooling and did all this stuff. And like, I'm taking a big leap here, but, uh, I guess, you know, I finally went through with it. I haven't regretted it since, but you know, I loved being a nurse. I loved the work I did. Um, uh, I'm not saying I hated anything so about it, but like, yeah, I'm full-time YouTube, man. I, I was, I was doing, I was making full-time income, but like, I just didn't want to let it go. I, and I, I finally don't, I don't crossed even the do line. YouTube full, I can't, that's uh that was never my thing. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how much you want to delve into this, but like, you do so do you do computer stuff on the side no, or that's I, your main I thing? I literally just invest money. Like I buy property and I invest and that's all I do now. You're at that point now, you're that big of a baller mood. No, I wouldn't say it's like <laughs> baller. It's just like I I don't like I live very comfortably within my means. So it's like I don't I don't mm-hmm. really like blow money on shit. Like I don't have urinals and like long revolvers in my house. <laughs> What are you saying? You're not a saint. And then, like, that's all I do. Like, I just, I live very, like, within my means. So, like, any money that I have just goes towards, like, snowballing it. Like, I'm very, I don't want to say that I, I like, have, I have, like, the autism for it. But, like, I do have, like, the autism for it. Like, fucking just, you know, like, snowballing. Like, I'm very, yeah. like, numbers oriented. So, it's kind of, like, the thing that keeps me going. You know, like, that's why I yeah. do, like, a lot of FinCEN, like, stuff. Like, a lot of, like, financial, like, scanning. Because it's just, like, it's all super like it's interesting to you yeah that's what i do basically for a living anyways uh youtube for me it's like if this was my job i'd be fucking crying because i'm like demonetized age restricted i'm like well this is all this work for it can be a pain (laughs) and coming from come coming from one of the many youtube peasants out there (laughs) it can be taxing i want to say like even during the height of like youtube like when i have like the big peaks in my like because for me youtube is like oh your channel is dead for a month oh suddenly it's like oh wow it pops off even better like the algorithm's so finicky right like that's why I don't mm-hmm. care too much. Like everyone like freaks out. Like in the, di- it's such a, like you go on like a YouTuber discord audience and it's just like doom scrolling. Like everyone's like, my video isn't doing well. 10 out of 10 failure, failure. And then like when they have the bad month, Oh, it's nothing but nonstop bitching. When you have a good month, they're never appreciative of it either. Right. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah. West yeah. Virginia. I always, I always do my best to like humble myself when I have like a one out of 10 video that gets like 2 million views. Cause you're going to feel like shit when you get 10 out of 10, inevitably like a few weeks later. Yeah. <laughs> I know what videos work. Like the video I upload today, not going to do that well. Cause you know, it's not like, it's not a video where I get to like go see rockstar games in the ass. Right. That's one of my favorite types of videos. Or, like, a computer video, for instance, sometimes it'll take off. Like, tomorrow I'm doing, like, Doom. Like, they made a ray tracing mod for Doom where the game looks fucking amazing. And the entire video Mm -hmm. I was recording it, like, my graphic card was, like, fucking kill me now. And I was like, dude, I have to upload a video of me playing a fucking 25-plus-year-old game destroying a modern-day graphic card. I'm like, this is amazing. And those videos, (laughs) sometimes they won't do well, but it's like, I feel like that's not how you're supposed to do YouTube, right? Like, if you want your channel to be, like, unique you have to fucking just 
you have to do those videos that you know will pop off, but also the videos that like you want to do, right? Like I'm sure you cover topics like from the internet world where it's like, you know, they're not going to do terribly well, but you do them because Mm -hmm. you have that, you have that like thing in you that you need to get rid of. Like, I absolutely, I know exactly what you're saying. There's been so many videos where I've like literally discovered something about like an internet history topic that no one had ever found before. And those videos don't always necessarily do good. Like some of those videos have a couple hundred thousand views which <laughs> to people watching they're like that is good you dumbass but like in comparison that kind of stuff is fulfilling though like you just don't you can't have uh a, what happened to the pokemon go kid every upload you know like you there's some stuff that i'm just really passionate about that doesn't pop but it makes you know it's rewarding to actually go through It'll, and make it, it makes up though for it because remember when i made this uh shenmue video it like fucking dropped now that video is almost at like a million views but it's like i needed to make it because it was like I just need to get it out of my system because I was like, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I'm like, all right, let's just edit this up. Let's chop it up. Let's post it online. Let's call it a day. I'm sure that like Caleb, you've done like videos where it's like the same thing. Like you just want to talk about something and you want to get it out regardless of what it does. And I know with Nux, you know, when you're Nux out of all of us is like the most optimized YouTuber. Like this motherfucker knows exactly how a thumbnail works. And like a what? title, like he is like a science. <laughs> what are you saying? You are Oompies a scientific, this stuff. you're a scientific God of this. I upload daily. I, fu- I feel like I fuck up a lot. Oh, you upload daily, Caleb? Yeah, I upload like a 15 minute video every day. God bless your uh, soul, re- man. That's the I've, hustle right there. I kind of just terrible. been having fun with YouTube. Like uh, I, the main channel videos are just like things that I want to do because they're fun mm-hmm. and no one does them. I don't know. But uh, I, I agree with you. I think if you don't do things, the issue with following trends, I think, is you get locked in the trend. And when the trend inevitably dies, so do you. So unless you're always mm-hmm. just doing things you're passionate about. Well, it's like the FNAF YouTubers back in the day, right? Yeah. Like when FNAF was so popular, I was in a way different community. I was in a like creepypasta community and like everyone was like, every upload like daily was just FNAF, FNAF, FNAF. And I never did like, I think I only ever did like two FNAF videos, three FNAF videos. One of them where I just ripped on them the whole time. And I I could never do five nights at Freddy's. Cause I'm like, I don't enjoy it. I don't understand the appeal for it. And you literally, dude, I was talking to people in communities that were like, this game is as scary as Silent Hill. I'm like, all right, boys, like, no, what? like the first one was the first one was my yeah, favorite. The first one was kind of scary. I liked the first one a the lot, fir- but uh, I never can con- I never clicked the with concept the other was interesting. All. And then like after a while, like everyone wanted to make like theory videos on it. And like, I was just like, guys, yeah. it's a fucking game about Chuck E. Cheese huh? characters. Like, the fuck? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> He made a full 20 minute video on th- there's this one character in Five Nights at Freddy's that crushes a kid's skull. So he Freddy. calculates. Is it, is it that Freddy? I don't know, Doesn't Freddy bro. do so that? He calculates the force <laughs> of the, the, the jaw and he comes to the conclusion <laughs> that it was fuck? done on purpose because. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been able to crush oh, the yeah. skull. Was it? Was, did he? Did he argue that Frederick it was Fazbear. like a fucking? Uh, it was like a fucking violation, like some some OSHA <laughs> issue or something. Like what the? Fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like the reason this happened is because the employees didn't follow tag in tag out protocol. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, that's just a theory. That's just a theory. Okay. We theory. we theorized that the factory that this animatronic was made in did not follow proper guidelines. <laughs> like fucking some duck. That Bro, that's kind of. I've been dying watching old Mad Pet videos or even new ones, honestly. But he made a whole one about how the main villain in Mario is capitalism, and I was dying, bro. <laughs> I was dying. Bowser? Oh, because there's this one scientist that makes all of Bowser's machines and all of Mario machines because he sells to the highest bidder so capitalism is the villain bro wait oh you know what <laughs> then who's mario i want to make a rip of that video Hassan? i want to actually make a rip where we all collaborate on that video and we have to make it look really good we have to like sit there and like we have to like have name cards like fucking you know it's like nux from devry university is discussing the lockheed martin of fucking the lockheed DeVry. martin of the mushroom uh, kingdom right like the defense like, it has to be really serious oh like God. we have to like narrate it like caleb you have to literally go like in the mushroom kingdom the defense industry known as lockheed martin raytheon is busy involved creating King oh Koopa's my God. various instruments 
<laughs> King Koopa, which is controlled by Booz Allen. Here you can see in 2008, the stock index of Lockheed Mushroom Kingdom increased by 40%. Like, just, that's that's the kind of shit that I feel like would make it a gaming YouTube. Like, that's that's what I expect out of a MatPat video at this point, the way that you describe it, Nux, every time. Okay, but I, I don't know. I have a special bond with MatPat. I feel like we get along very well. He's a cool guy. I, I honestly yeah. feel like he like the kind of videos that he makes is like they're so harmless and wholesome and beautiful that it's just like you can never you can never find a way to have like beef or anything with him like he's just, it's just yeah every video is cool it, there, it's it's a it's a highly overused word but like Matt Pat is a yeah. legend. he really is like he's a legend on yeah. YouTube. And you can never take He's that away from He's the only one that gave know. the Pope Undertale. How many of you motherfuckers True. have done that? Oh, dude, mad respect. That's hilarious. Uh, I guess this is something that I actually researched and I couldn't find enough to make a video about it. But about the Undertale thing, um, recently, the Pope Undertale thing, recently there was a clip that was going viral on Instagram. Yeah. And uh, there was these performers that went in front and of the Pope like a couple of months ago. Yeah, they played, they played Megalovania and... Uh, a lot of people were like, so was this on purpose or like, what's going on mm -hmm. here? I actually reached out to the circus, the, the the owner of the circus that did that. And like, they told me basically that it was like a complete happenstance like thing that happened. Like there wasn't, it wasn't even known that that was a video game song, apparently, is what the performers Wait, told da, me. Da, 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 da. So, they didn't know that? Yeah. They said that it wasn't, they said they didn't know it was from a game. They just liked the song. That's okay. what they said. I feel like that's, that's a funny. lot of fucking lies right there. I feel. <laughs> you think that you think that's, that's, that's like, you think that's more sus than a like character from Among Us? Way more sus there, than a character from Among Us. Absolutely. Well, 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 I'll walk well, out. I'm thinking like so <laughs> I'll walk out if y'all keep doing that. <laughs> I think I think it's reasonable maybe to think that somebody involved knew it was from that, but like the performers just had no idea. You know what Bro, I mean? The Queen of England is gonna give a speech and someone's gonna play the coffin dance and be like, "I just thought it was a pop song." <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's a, that's a, like the thing with the Undertale song is like where where I get kind of sketchy about that is like it's been played in so many different circles, right? Like in meme circles and like like there are people who don't know about gaming who can probably identify that like specific sound, right? Like there are yeah. some gaming soundtracks that people can isolate just because of how popular they are in like pop culture media, right? Like, well, I feel I feel like with that in mind, maybe it's gotten so big that it could be detached from its identity. Oh. Like, what if people? I'm sure the video has like a hundred million views on YouTube yeah. of just the right. song. I would imagine. I don't know. Maybe they they probably were blowing smoke up it my ass. Have, I don't know. I, I guess it's different because like the way that, I guess like a comparison would be like you know the Final Fantasy victory song. Like I don't know how many you guys know. Like that. Yeah, you know right. What I mean? of course. Like, yeah. Da, 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 like people may yeah. know that but they immediately attribute it to final fantasy because it's been around for like 20 fucking years but like yeah i guess undertale is different because it's like maybe it's like if if it plays in the background of some like tiktok or like you know youtube video mm -hmm. but you don't have the game like visual associated with it yeah then i can see it for sure because it'll be like oh it's just some generic they'll probably think it's like some royalty free soundtrack everyone's fucking using but right. it's not yeah, that, I, I, that's kind of like what I was thinking. Yeah. Like, maybe it's just gotten so big that it's possible for people to know what it is without, like, no. actually realizing that it's from Undertale. Well, I wonder if it'll make a comeback, Cause like, because uh, I don't know if he's making Undertale 2. I don't know if Toby Fox is behind on that, which is weird. Yeah, considering he is. He is? Chapter 3 is coming out hopefully is soon. It, no, but the second one was Delta Rune, right? Was that a separate game? Yeah, uh, it's a separate game, same universe-ish. Okay. It's kind of unclear. Yeah, like a lot of overlapping. Yeah, Delta Rune came out. I think that was last year, right? Delta so. Chapter two came out last year. I mean, Undertale was like this phenomenon of a game, and I liked it. I never really finished it because it was like one of those games where it's just. I think after like it's my favorite game. I don't know. Like, I love Undertale. I, I liked it for like I don't know, a, a couple hours, and after a while, like it just didn't like. I was just busy doing something else. It really it just came down to like I was busy doing another thing, and I just never continued with the game. And that's unfortunately most of my gaming thing. Like I like. I wish I could play more video games, but work comes Says in. Says the guy who played three hundred hours of Elden Ring. I hundred percent of that fucking game, and I had to because that game like it, it was it was such a like. After 100%ing Elden Ring, I've actually come to realize, like, the first half of my playtime was fun. Like, I liked it. And then I think what really sucked, and I wish more people admitted it, is that there's a lot of repeat in that game. 
Like there's there is like when you get towards the later half of your playtime, you'll be like, I fought that boss like twenty times. If I have to fight one more tree spirit, so help me God. I know, <laughs> but like overall, like that was like that game was one of those things where like as soon as I started playing it, I'm like, I gotta fucking go. Th- I gotta finish this to the end. I gotta Bro, I'm at my third playthrough. Play I know. <laughs> I love That's that insane. game so much. I haven't I haven't played it. I'm just like an out of touch boomer, I guess. I played it like for a couple of hours. I just didn't really I've like it that much. The thing is, like all, all these, I haven't played like a new game in mm-hmm. a while, but I just like enjoy all the twitter videos and memes that come out of them like it's like it's like and i will watch someone play it on like a youtube video or something but like the only game i play regularly is just like i play melee online like smash melee i'm so old school dude that's what yeah that's what my brother does he does net play all the time he does like competitively and oh yeah well i played uh i started playing years ago dude like i got into it like trying to be competitive when i was in college and i i even went to like the little local tournaments and like i was okay but i never won or anything but i just haven't put it down since i just like it's like everybody has their comfort game that they just like can play mindlessly for like hours and that's it for mine me. mine used I to be like game, halo dude. like i used to be like huge into like master chief collection i remember between like every video that i would make i would just be like all right boys let's do like a halo game in here and then after that like it just when 343 started fucking up i was like i'm out of here i'm done like now i don't really have like a mega comfort game i just i i treat gaming like a book now where like every like maybe 30 40 minutes before bed i just kind of sit down and play like a bit of a single player game i'm not a multiplayer guy anymore like i just i'm not good enough to play so like when you, when i go on twitch and i see some of these people play call of duty they're like fucking crack shots you know what i mean like i think i think most of the pro scene is popping like adderall like they just got addy tabs on the side of their fucking yeah computer. It's, it's insane how good they are yeah well, yeah. I know I, I played Apex for a while, like a lot of it was my that was my comfort game. Like, uh, oh, you're in a business meeting. I'll play Apex while, we, you know, yeah. <laughs> like at the same time. Right. But again, it's just it's such a time sponge because like, you know, you get to diamond and then the season ends and you're like silver. And it's like, ah, ah. yeah, it's like all that work <laughs> for nothing. Grind again. And then and then you get matched with people that are playing for 12 hours a day. It's like, I'll never be as fucking good as that. Like, get the fuck right. out of here. Yeah. I, I don't think a, I don't think an FPS could ever be my comfort game because, like, <laughs> it's like you just get killed in a bullshit way. And you're like, God, fucking damn it. Well, like, <laughs> I'm like Elden Ring, which is always fair. Well, I was, I was playing I was playing Warzone last night. I know, it's surprising. Like, I, I was like, I have Warzone. I like Warzone. I played a little bit well, of Warzone. I, I noticed oh. I had 170 gigabytes had installed. I had 170 gigs of Warzone just sitting on a drive, and I'm like, well, I could delete it or I could just play it. And then I played it, and I was like, it's not bad. But then, like, after a while, I started getting paired with, like, fucking Adderall popping, like, kids. And they were just, like, <laughs> yeah. I get headshot across the city. I'm like, all right, that's some bullshit. And then the problem is with that game is, like, so a lot of people are used to switching to, like, AI-based hacks. So I don't know how – so, like, it used to be that when you were hacking in a video game, they were directly modifying memory, right? So there's ways that you can counteract it. But some of the hacks these days – and I, and I had a YouTube video in the works. I don't know if I can release it because you can actually get age restricted if you like promote hacking in, in video right. games or in general. Mm-hmm. But a yep. lot of them use AI based hacks. So it's like they literally it's it's almost undetectable because what they do is they like screen capture and like they correct your mouse and, and the game and the anti cheat can't necessarily detect it. So that's crazy. So it's mm. crazy because you can go on GitHub right now, and I'm not promoting anybody to do this, by the way. Like, vi- video game hacking <laughs> is bad. Yeah. Okay? It's wrong. But it ruins the experience for does. everyone. But, but like, when you go on, like, like, there's people who made like neural trained engines for Fortnite, for CSGO, for Rainbow Six Siege, basically the most popular multiplayer games out there. And so they're effectively just screen recording it, and they like move your mouse they like naturally move your mouse so it doesn't look like you immediately snap to someone's head it's like crazy it's really good aim assist like when you play on a controller like you know how like right great aim assist right like it's almost it's almost like you're fucking hacking that's what you get with a pc and it's like it's so dead on good that like if you were to sit down and detect it it's almost impossible like i was watching i don't know if you guys know that youtuber basically homeless he does a lot of rainbow six siege content no but Do like, not, so no. he was talking about this and he's like working with another, he's working to create AI that can fight the AI that, did, that, that cheats. It's literally <laughs> fucking, it's like, it, it's like, you know, in my head, I was like, remember that scene from like Terminator 2 when like he calls up the other Terminator? It's like, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're, they're basically yeah. cheering testing the other, right? It's like, what's oh the, my God, what's the dog's insane. name? 
It's like, Max, hey, is Wolfie okay? Your parents are dead. I'm like, that's what the AI is doing. It's literally fighting. Co- it's like computer on computer violence. It's like, the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like an arms race or something. That's, that's crazy, dude. The anti-cheat world yeah. is an arms race. I remember I even had beef with an anti-cheat company for like 30 seconds because I kept on getting kicked for Rainbow Six Siege because I use VNs to game in. And I wasn't hacking, but obviously it's a method you can use to hack. And battle, I was giving me shit. I was like, okay, first off, fuck you assholes. And second of all, I'm like, it. Is, that's when I learned. I'm like, anti-cheating in video game, it is a complete arms race. Because it's like, the margin is so razor thin between what is a hack and what isn't that it's like... I, also, there is a bit mm-hmm. of a conspiracy. I'm going to have my Alex Jones moment. I'm going to say that like the only reason these companies don't work really hard is because when they get contracted by Activision, by all these big companies, it's like for them, it's beneficial if like they can say, oh, we banned a million hackers. Well, OK, you might have had like 50 percent of them false positive, but we don't fucking care. We just want to report a number. That's what I usually think. But that's like that's generally mm-hmm. the anti-cheat industry. I found it so interesting that in the last like year, it went from like the old school ways of hacking video games to like we're using literal AI to hack. And AI like again, a lot of the modern day graphic cards that we use have like AI cores built onto them. So it's like everyone just has like a neural engine that's like like even with hacking circles, they're like collaborating neural engine data to create even more stronger hacks. So it's just like, the fuck am I living in? We live in a world where like you can, you can hack in a video game and it's almost impossible to do it. Like they're actually trying to get it working on like consoles, like PlayStation and Xbox. And it's even more undetectable there. If you get hacked in the game, you get hacked in real life. I don't know. I I don't think we're too far from that. AI stuff is getting wild. Like, have have you seen those, uh, the AI voice bots that have been coming out where it like, you could just basically, if you have like 10 minutes of someone talking, they can just create like a pretty accurate voice, you know, like I've seen them with, uh, yeah, those things are scary. I've seen, uh, it's funny, like, de- one that I think is funny, Destiny, the streamer that got banned from Twitch recently, he has one that imitates Vosh for, like, donation sounds. Wait, for real? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, for- yeah, <laughs> he has one funny. that does Vosh, dude. It's crazy. Like, you can make them for anything. Well, yeah, I mean, I was uh, actually, one thing that I was trying to do, and I didn't have enough, like, I didn't have enough clean samples, because you need a lot of clean, like, voice samples for it. When I was making that Chris Chan video, I wanted to, like, so I didn't believe at the time that the whole like mom fucking thing was true. You know what I mean? Like I was like, that's extreme. I almost thought that somebody faked his voice because mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm really paranoid like that. Like I know you can fake voice and like webcam data, right? Like you can, you know, face like, what is that? What is that? What is that shit that they call like, what is that? Deep what, what is, fakes or whatever. Deep fake. Yeah. Like you can deep fake deep, like you can deep fake audio. And I was like, did they do that? And then I looked into like AI, like modeling. And I'm like, dude, it's so scary easy how like, which just again, like you said, ten minutes. Honestly, it could be five minutes of clean audio data, and you could just start like faking yeah, people's sentences. Yeah, like you could just synthesize seriously. like entire shit. Like you could literally, like I could get like I could get everyone in this call to say like some really nasty gamer words, and it almost sounds so identical that you, it's like how do you refuse? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like anything could be so easily faked, even with deep fakes, right? Like if you, I mean, like the same shit that Hollywood uses to deep fake, like you know, actors and make them look younger is generally available to the public. You can do the same thing in your house. Looks like diarrhea. Yeah, it doesn't always look Looks like diarrhea. Have you guys seen that Adam movie? I didn't see Adam. The new Adam movie with Ryan Reynolds? No, I haven't seen that. No. It's pretty, it's all right. It's pretty good. It's okay. But there's a scene in which a character is made young and I basically stopped watching it because of how (laughs) fucking bad it looked it was so bad dude it looked like a it looked like a deep fake it looked like quarter digital deep faked it and like they're just a youtube channel right not a not a hundred million dollar budget netflix movie (laughs) it it looked like you could you could so easily tell it was fake it was terrible like like, is the al pacino and all those guys and i'm like dude you can deep fake them all you want but when i see robert de niro bashing a dude's fucking foot in on the side of the road as an 80 year old man it's so evidently obvious yeah Oh my god, yeah, that's... <laughs> Even the uh, the one from um, Star Wars, I forget which Star Wars it was, but the actor died about. a long time ago, yeah. and they put him in. Like towards the end of Rogue it. Rogue One, yeah. One of the that generals. one looked good. Yeah, that one yeah. was really I thought that one looked pretty good. I think yeah. they, used it, they used it a lot in the ver- the most recent main series movie, too, with, like for Princess Leia, because she died, Fisher died. True. Yeah. I know Fast and the Furious. Right. That, that stuff, like... Paul Walker. The... the 
the Star Wars stuff, like, dude, the fucking Luke Skywalker in the Mando, no spoilers, that shit look. Wait, that was a real actor, though. There was some kind of character that was in Mando that was deep faked and it looked real as hell. I didn't but, watch yeah, the new dude. trilogy. It's yeah. I feel like uh, I, I experienced yeah, them enough through like quartering thumbnails. I didn't need to actually watch the actual yeah. movies. Fuck off. Now you have to Yeah, honestly though with the with his thumbnails, and not just his thumbnails, but the entire like Star Wars community, I before I watch that, like I, that's the only reason I have just have not committed to the trilogy. It's just like they've all made it look so repulsively bad that I'm like, I yeah. just want to waste time. I also don't even care that much about Star Wars either. But I'm like, yeah, same. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're not that good. I don't really like the original much. trilogy. Have you guys watched <laughs> the new Halo about, series? I, I, Anyways, moving on. Good. You said that shit was good. Like in your thing, you said it was good. I, I enjoy it. I mean, I, it's like, not what, good, what is, but I enjoy it. Is? <laughs> No, 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 no. It's it's like if you didn't know what Yo. if you didn't know what Halo was, uh well people on Twitter hate it, what to be fair. Twitter That's like not everyone. Halo. Um Oh Halo. Well no 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 Halo. I'm talking about Halo. I don't give a shit about Morbius. I don't like the the actor in uh Morbius, but apparently um, nobody does. Bro. Jared Leto. Yeah. What's the <laughs> deal? He's a yeah, fucking so creep, the dude. worst villain in the DC universe to the worst villain in the Marvel universe. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you see that one Dude, like yeah. tweet? It fucking Horrible. got me rolling. This like girl was like, "Hey guys, watch out! Lock your cars. I had two tickets to Morbius in my car, <laughs> and somebody broke in and left four." <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. What? Is what? What is Morbius? Is he like a vampire yeah, a or some shit? Villain. Like, what's the deal? He's got his own movie. Okay. <laughs> Or Jared Bro, Leto, it came dude. out on he, April first. Like I, it was the ultimate April I, Fool's movie. When I when I went into so I watched the Batman in theaters. Great movie. And like I I was at the concession. I ordered all the food. I showed up a little late to the theater. And the first thing I did when I walked in was I saw the previous to Morbius. And like I'm just holding my beer and I'm looking up at the theater. I'm like the fuck is Jared Leto on today? I was like no. this motherfucker can't catch a break you know he's like the shittiest character from the new Blade Runner movie he's the shittiest Joker like what is Jared Leto actually good at? And then I'm like this poor man. I'm like dude I feel, I feel like he's a great actor like amazing fucking dude he just his agent conspires against him like his he must he must have he fucked does. his agent's wife or something you know and the agent's not letting it go. He's like, I'm just going to give you shit job. After. Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, of course. Jared Leto would not. He's a fucking beautiful, nice man. Unfortunately. He just gets the short end of yeah, the stick. Yeah, he really gets the short end. He's, he's, he's a big. <laughs> pretty sure he's a non-ironic cultist. He's a big fan of the podcast. He's yeah, watching Jared right Leto. now. Well, Jared Leto, like, you want to come on? bring me joy, um, and now they've ripped on me. Yeah. <laughs> you can go from the, the worst yeah. superhero actor to the worst guest on our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no solace yeah the halo show though it's not very good either it's pretty good it's like if you didn't I, know what halo uh, was it'd be pretty CGI good CGI and it looked all if that right, makes sense like, some of the cgi shit yeah yeah the cgi is good the cgi looks great the actual um costumes if they were less metallic they would look better uh the actor that plays master chief is pretty cool um they took his helmet off I saw immediately he took his armor off too, and he looked like uh they just it looked weird like, yeah, it, it looks it looks funny. It's the second episode. It's I don't know. It's like I'm excited to see where it goes. But like every single episode, every time anything happens, another part of me that loves Halo <laughs> is stripped away because so it's like, OK, because I've read almost all the books and played all the games and know the story like to a T. It's one of my favorite like things of well, canon that there like, is, is the, the Halo lore. Producers were like, um, you bother playing the game? I'm like, you mean the most consumed piece of Halo content yeah. you didn't bother touching? Like the fuck? Dude, it's like, uh, yeah, you know, they're, making, they're like yeah. remaking Avatar The Last Airbender and they brought on the original Avatar like producers and they they, they left. They were like, no, you're ruining the whole thing. And they left. And now they're, they're continuing without them. It's yeah. interesting. Uh, it, it's interesting. I, I feel like in recent years, like uh, movies, movie studios are actually getting a little bit more competent at actually making video game based like, you know, cinema. Like, dude, I mean, people people have been saying that new Sonic movie is good. I thought you were going to say, like, like Arcane. Actually I actually say Sonic movie. No, but the Sonic movie was no, good, no. though. Like, I like the OG one. I'm excited to watch the second one. I think they got that right. Dude, I'm excited to see what in the hell is going to come out of this Mario when movie, When I saw dude. Jim Carrey was when in a, the... when a Sonic movie and he was playing Eggman, I knew it was going to be a banger from day one. Yeah, that's... 
that's like perfect casting. There couldn't have been a better casting choice. Like, yeah. I, I really I really hope Nintendo does not drop the ball on the Mario movie though. Like I don't understand how it's gonna work. It's just crazy to me that this is actually happening finally. An animated like what illumination. I wish doing it was still it, right? live action. I think I wish it was still live action and they made like fucking King Koopa like just Donald Trump, like just like they did back in the day. I would kill for that. <laughs> like Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that yeah, would be dude. amazing for me. Like I still remember the scene burned into my head when I found out what Mario's last name was and it was just Mario. I'm like, no fucking way. They went no fucking way. That movie that old Mario movie confused me so much as a kid. Like I didn't understand that the men with the shrunken heads were supposed to be Goombas. Like none of it made sense at what? all. It was so yeah, weird. You to didn't me. know that? Like you, you I didn't watch Goomba this old like? Mario yeah. movie. Oh, you have to watch it. It's so fucking insane. Yeah. It's like one of the worst. It's like p- considered one Bro, of the worst John movies Leguziano of all time. Like, is Luigi. Just, just remember that. You know that, you know that, you know that guy from that John Wick, the car garage guy. <laughs> okay. Okay, so nice. that's him. I I, I don't know Vaguely, what yeah. like John is in recently, but he's like he's just like your stereotypical like Latin New York guy, and he was supposed <laughs> to be playing as joke. Luigi. I also watched Justice League recently. <laughs> I watched those Batman DC yeah. movies because I was like, man, I want to see what ba- what Ben Affleck was up to, and that was the worst mistake of my life, man. Like I watched the two hour Justice League thing, and I was like, I don't even understand what the fuck goes on in this garbage. Like Superman comes in and saves the day. And I, I fucking hate Superman because I think it's probably Same. one of the worst superheroes ever made. Like he's so boring. Yeah, because he's like, oh, I have God mode equipped. Okay, let me just fucking kill everything. Is it, there's like certain incarnations of him that are interesting, but like ninety percent of the time he's just vanilla. Yeah, it's like, like what's your weakness? Boring. A rock. Oh shit. Okay. A Great. rock that you literally cannot find <laughs> in on the planet. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. He's like he's on a he's on a world where like you cannot find his weakness. <laughs> it's like unless somebody yeah. like fucking comes from the other galaxy with that one fucking pebble, you're fucked. It's it's just hard to make a Superman cool. Like it, there's a lot of cool yeah. Batman's. Yeah. Because right? he's an underdog. Like, there's not character. very many uncool. Yeah. There's not How very the many uncool Batman Batmans, underdog? but there's a shitload no, of boring. No, that's Dude, he's to- okay. You're right. He's rich. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But he's a, yeah, I'm he's not saying he's rich. societally an underdog, but he's up against so- like superhumans. Okay. Society and the Joker. Dude, think about it. Batman literally picks on the mentally handicapped of Gotham. <laughs> he does. Like, oh my God. Dude, think about it like this. Yeah, yeah, man, you're man. the richest man in Gotham. Imagine if I was the richest man in Toronto. And Toronto was like a fucking crime-ridden Gothic shithole. And all of a sudden, I was like, man, you know what? I can- I'm so rich that I have a weapons company that can just make Batmobiles, Batarangs, fucking... Riddle me this, Mudahar. Yeah, exactly. And imagine, I'm beating up a guy that's literally dressed up like a 4chan character going, riddle me this. Like, I'm beating up Gypsy Crusader. Yeah. Like, that's how fun... Yeah, what's the... What's the moral of the story that like the mentally ill or the problem with society okay, like you need to beat them up? Yeah, like dude, yeah, I'm bro. like oh beat the shit yeah, out of like, them. Fuck the therapy. Bat Call Batman. The like, I guess I get to beat up the fucking cripple today. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the, the cripple, the Riddler's not crippled. Uh, the Joker's not new movie. He was a, he was a weird the guy. I was like, I, I actually just <laughs> watched Batman Begins, Riddler. and it's a really good movie. It is. Uh, the first of the trilogy. It's a really good movie. Bro, the Riddler was for real like an 8chan poster with a Patreon, and <laughs> no. he was posting videos to it about how they should destroy the fucking, uh, the stadium at, at this certain time. Yo, thanks for subscribing to my putting, Patreon. We are going to be putting a about piece to release on another attack video. Yeah, that's literally, <laughs> dude, that's the bad guy from the Batman movie. I'm like, think about it. You're Batman, right? Like, you're so rich. You fly into shitholes just to beat up the crippled people, just to beat up the downtrodden, and then you go home and you're like oh but he what doesn't was use me? guns like like yeah he doesn't use guns yo there's so just many uses tasers. there are so many scenes in that movie where he beats the shit out of people so bad that i'm like look if i was a criminal and batman <laughs> fucking did me in like that me. i'd be like i'd be on the ground going kill me now yeah bro kill me <laughs> like, i do not kill yeah, yeah. No, he's like Wish you had a gun. He's like, uh, yeah, Batman. Like, he doesn't just beat you up. He like caves your skull in, and, and you somehow you survive. Just, like, like arm blade things. Yeah, he beats like, the shit out of you and then like, fucking like, runs away. Medical. <laughs> and you know the funny thing is, like, it's all a conspiracy. Like, he beats the shit out of you, and you get treated in his hospital. Like Wayne Industries oh my owns God. Wayne Industries oh my God. owns the medical system. Yep. 
It's Dude, ironic. Bro. He's the yeah, greatest like, sociopath in all written literature. The, the, the and Batman and Joe's real He's a capitalist, not a philanthropist. <laughs> I don't know what it's game I was Batman. playing. I think maybe it was from the movie Max. where they were like, we're going to send you to Arkham, but don't expect there to be proper mental facilities. We're just going to throw you in and throw away the fucking key. I was like, this dude owns the one mental facility where they still lobotomize motherfuckers. He does. This is a sick fuck. Dude, he goes home. I be, this is the guy that goes home, fires up Reddit, looks up at all the fucking like downtrodden people. It's like, I'm going to fucking wipe this guy up. He's so rich. He has so much. He owns like what? 70% of Gotham. Anytime you post shit on like fucking 8chan, this motherfucker knows the IP. He knows exactly how to trace you. He knows who Bro, owns Elon it. Elon Musk buys 9% of Twitter. He is Twitter. Imagine if Elon Musk started doing it, you know? Like tomorrow you just saw like a battery powered Batmobile. I'm like, that's fucking Elon. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, right. Hello. Oh, no, yeah, not a, giant, giant tes- a giant Tesla symbol appears in the clouds above the city. Time to beat up yeah, the homeless like, and crippled. Right, yeah, it's like fucking. Like, imagine if Elon's like backstory is like, ah, oh, my family was like lost in a fucking South African fire. My family I, was killed by SJWs. Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> honestly, he's been posting like that recently too. Dude, have you seen his little... Twitter? Oh my god. <laughs> yo, oh me. my. Yo, Elon. Elon is Elon is Batman and fucking Joe Rogan is Robin and they just run around and fucking smoke yeah, weed they, they, and yeah, beat up homeless like cool people. Batman, they're just on DMT the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, what is that? What is that shit called that Joe Rogan was uh, allegedly taking? They like just hand out ivermectin to oh, the homeless yeah, people. They're like, they're like grab him like this fucking suppository. Insert the ivermectin. It's like you're gonna be good, son. Don't worry about it. I, I, yeah. I feel like no, but you ever wonder like Batman? It's like I, I wonder why we don't. have have one like we have so many billionaires if i was a fucking billionaire like that rich i'd be batman and you know what i'd be a fucking asshole like i would be like i'd be the, like i'm literally beating up people that have no recourse like y- when you beat up a guy in clown makeup <laughs> what are you gonna do yes. sue a billionaire you're gonna sue a billionaire no you're Please. not but like think about it like you think batman like after he comes home he goes on like r slash am i the asshole so guys uh, i found this dude dressed like yeah. a clown and i just mercilessly bashed his head into a wall because he looked at me funny am i the bad guy also i'm a billionaire won't name which company but yeah also also i'm like actively in my bat layer like doxing him and researching yeah, everything about him and planning on how to and like planning on how i can like, more efficiently also, like, beat he, him he, up he, in he, the like, future he drops into all the phone lines <laughs> in the city and like that, that was kind of a ever... sick fuck though too like, oh my yeah. god yeah because this guy bro. probably like has like everyone's webcam accessible and it's just like ah <laughs> This dude, it's the FBI meme. Like, well, that's what know? he did in one of the. Bat- that's what he did in the Nolan movies. He's just like, I have the ability to like. He's like, I have the ability to scan everyone with my cell phone sonar vision. Yes. <laughs> Every cell phone this belongs to Gotham. Now, now I feel now. You know what? Fuck it. Before we end this, I'm actually sympathizing yeah, wow. with the Batman Gotham villains. Fucking like the those guys, Two Face. All right, <laughs> yeah. I'll, Half his face is. I like Two Face. Yeah, he's like the definition. Half his face is. Dude, Batman fucked him up. Yeah, the the villains are the villains are the true hero. Down with the Batman industrial complex, man. Yeah, dude. Yep. Batman, dude. That's why. Sugma. I don't want to live in Gotham. Gotham is not only a shithole, but it's a shithole that's controlled by one rich guy. You've given me so much to think about. One rich douche. Think about it like this: every time he beats your ass in what hospital you're treated in not only did he beat your fucking face in but you pay wow. for him to beat you. not only did not only do you pay for him to beat you up you go to his hospital then he sends you to his asylum to get lobotomized yeah dude <laughs> medicare, the opposite of robin hood medicare pays him the government pays him to beat the shit Bro. out <laughs> fucking billionaires is the rich keep on getting richer dude oh Fuck my that, god oh <laughs> I think I know. Honestly, I can imagine like the subreddit for Batman just getting fucking absolutely ass blasted. See, this is why Batman is more intriguing than Superman. The Superman conversation lasted about (laughs) ten seconds. The Batman is like not only probably one of the funnier segments, but lasted like ten minutes. (laughs) 
So there you go. Yeah, because we because we literally like you can't talk about Batman without talking about the fucking literal industrial complex. Yeah. He beats the shit out of people. Yeah. He beats the shit out of mentally, mentally challenged people just yeah. to sell weapons and medical care, and he controls the surveillance of his city. That man is true. He's a he's not only a fucking man that beats on the mentally ill, but he's also a fucking cuckold too. You tell me yeah. he's not watching people fuck through the webcam. Yeah. Get out of here. He's NSA. He's the CIA. He's the FBI. He's Pfizer. He's Raytheon. Next thing you know, he's gonna be. Next thing you know, he's gonna be putting out a fucking NFT project. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. Imagine he like like Bruce Wayne, like the actual Twitter universe. It's like so. Uh, I don't want to let you guys know, but I'm working on this sick NFT project at Bruce Wayne Industries. <laughs> like he's also that. What a Wayne sick- NFT. Yeah. Wayne Wayne NFTs exactly. He's like the Mayweather of that universe too. But, uh, yeah, so who wants to tie this off? With Yo, you? Wavy, I think you should do the official outro. Yeah, oh, I like this idea a lot. Yeah, we should get our guest. All right. It. Well, it's been a pleasure to be in attendance. Tons of Batman talk. Let's, uh, that one's, that one's, that was like probably the funniest segment for sure. But I appreciate you guys having me on the podcast. Uh, Caleb, nice to meet Nux, you, dude. Muda, it's, yeah, it's nice to meet you too. It's been an absolute pleasure and, uh, Wish you guys the best of luck, and hopefully we get some more banger guests on here. I, I, and shout I have out to, to say, the fans. like, I know I say this every episode, but I think this is the banger episode because <laughs> of like the wide variety. Dude, we talked. To, we went from the Matt Pat to Ben. Yeah, we we talked oh about a lot God. of stuff. Yo, yeah, this podcast is on the spectrum, and it covered a lot of stuff. Okay, let's just put it at that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this this podcast Good, is goodbye. on the same spectrum as Batman's. Day. Put that one on there, straight up. Straight up. <laughs>